great for the holidays. So easy, anyone can do it. As long as you know how to mix ingredients and work an oven, you'll be good to go. Let's make some ube butter mochi. This recipe will be enough to fill a 9 by 13 pan. All the measurements will be in the description box below. But to briefly go over, you will need whole milk, ube extract, coconut milk, mochiko powder, butter, egg, vanilla extract, salt, sugar, baking powder, and shredded coconut. Are you assigned to make dessert for Thanksgiving? Look no further. This recipe is an easy one. Throw all your ingredients into a big bowl and whisk it all together. See the description box for specific measurements. Thank you to my cousin Christy for sharing this recipe with me. She is one to perfect any dessert or dish in the kitchen and this recipe was designed with love as she married different recipes until she found the one. Although hers looked prettier than mine, I promise that your taste buds won't know the difference. If you've made it this far in the video, give it a thumbs up and comment a turkey emoji and tell me what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It is totally free and it helps out my channel. Alright, so I poured everything into the 9 by 13 pan and as you can see, I did line it with parchment paper. Although my cousin and my mom who baked this said they don't recall using it, the butter in the recipe should be enough grease to prevent it from sticking from the pan, but I, I just would be so pissed off at myself if I ruined it and couldn't successfully remove it from the pan. So I just put parchment paper just to be safe. As you see, after I poured it into the pan I did sprinkle about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt just on the top surface so that it'll be baked right in and that every bite you'll get that little hint of salt which makes I think any sweet dessert extra delicious you just need that little hint of salt I'm gonna put it into the oven at 350 degrees for one hour the ube butter mochi is baking and it's making the house smell so good. I just took a look at it and I'm a little concerned. I hope this is normal, but why is it so lumpy and why is it so poofy? It's deflating, so I'm hoping that that's a good sign. I'm a little nervous. Not sure if it turned out okay. It definitely deflated. I think it'll look prettier once I cut it and hopefully it tastes better than what it looks like. But it smells good. I'm gonna allow it to cool down completely before I slice it. I don't feel like it looks the prettiest, but as I'm feeling it, it has a nice crust to it, which I love when I bite into butter mochi. So right now I'm just separating it from the edge. And I don't know where I got this, but it's this plastic flat spatula and I use it all the time to separate anything from a pan that I don't want to scratch. Oh my God, it looks good guys. And it didn't stick to the bottom because I have parchment paper, but I do feel like without the parchment paper, it would have been okay. But better safe than sorry. Time to do a taste test. And are you guys more of a centerpiece or the corner and edges? I'm definitely a corner lover. And that's exactly what I'm gonna go for. So it's pretty dark. It's a dark purple. This is the texture. So it's nice and gooey, chewy. 
baik hmm. Yum The corner or the edge is really chewy with a little bit of crisp to it just as my cousin mentioned, all the coconut flakes float to the top. So the bottom half of the mochi is soft and gooey. And that coconut helped it develop a crust on top. Wow, it really matches my nails. It's so good. It's so dangerous. I wish it was lighter in color. It would be a little more attractive. Nevertheless, I would totally make this again. It's great for the holidays. It's November now so add this to your recipe book I mean you don't need baking talent to make this as long as you know how to use measuring cups and measuring spoons and do a motion like this with a whisk you can totally make this ube butter mochi yay my mom requested this for tonight's dinner so I'm glad it turned out I think my dad will really like it too I was trying to make it into a nice presentation, but I'm struggling. So I put them in these pretty purple liners, hoping to bring out the ube color. But I mean, I just have to face it. The ube butter mochi, it isn't as bright purple as I thought it was going to be, but it tastes so good. I definitely recommend you guys trying out this recipe. Great for the holidays, like I said. So easy, anyone can do it. As long as you know how to mix ingredients and work an oven, you'll be good to go. And I just wanted to mention that I was afraid that it was expanding in the oven, but once I let it cool down, it totally deflated and it actually developed a nice crispy crust on the top. So it was actually a good thing that it happened. I used this ube extract butterfly brand from our local grocery store here i'm sure you can find this at pretty much anywhere ube is a really popular flavor here in hawaii over the past handful of years it has exploded and a lot of people have um, their own ube recipes and so this was the first one that i made and i really enjoy it and i hope my family does too all right guys thank you so much for being here with me today i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe as much as i do make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you ever tried ube butter mochi or if you plan to if you're not subscribed consider subscribing it's totally free and it supports my channel thank you so much again for being here and I hope to inspire you in future videos my ube butter mochi looks like brownies but I promise they taste good Daddy.